The original Zoolander's gags were hit and miss, but worked overall thanks to a fresh concept and an inspired performance from Ben Stiller. Without a new shtick to give it wings then, the sequel feels a little less inspired. Zoolander 2 takes the jokes from the original and recycles them with a few minor tweaks, and the resulting film, while still very funny in fits and starts, never quite hits the high notes of its predecessor. So that lightning has left the bottle, but there's still fun to be had with Derek Zoolander 15 years on as he returns to the modeling world in order to reconnect with his estranged son. Stiller has lost none of his dumb charm, in fact his cluelessness may have grown more appealing with age. He's once again well matched with Owen Wilson, returning here as the dopey Hansel. Their dynamic can be summed up nicely with the quip, I miss not knowing things with you, and a brilliantly convoluted sequence where Hansel tries to get Derek to reproduce his gravity-bending blue steel look by throwing objects at his face. Maybe we could try a washcloth. Ah! Ah! That the pair are older and have lost touch with the current cultural lexicon makes for the biggest laughs in Zoolander 2. Their cluelessness is driven home with particular bite by Kyle Mooney's obnoxious millennial, whose opinions bleed with hip and highly confusing contradiction. Benedict Cumberbatch's all is also part of this running gag, and although his non-binary gender is handled a little clumsily, the jokes ultimately on Derek and Hansel as all proves to be the current IT model on the runway, a strange new world for the pair indeed. Zoolander 2's biggest gift to audiences, however, is Kristen Wiig's Alexania Artos, a grotesque fashion titan of indeterminable Eastern European origin whose unique accent and Botox-restricted facial expressions steal every second she's on screen. It's just a shame that once Will Ferrell's Mugatu returns, Alexania is relegated to the background. Still, Ferrell is as fun as he ever was, even if he's playing to exactly the same beats of the original. It's testament to his profound silliness that he still delivers on laughs while working with such thin material. And really, over-familiarity is the major problem with Zoolander 2. Newcomers Penelope Cruz, Cyrus Arnold, and an overabundance of blink and you'll miss them celebrities do their best to inject some fresh blood into old proceedings, but ultimately we've been here and we've done that. Throwbacks to gags from the original only serve to hammer home how little has actually changed for these characters in their 15-year absence. While Zoolander 2 is a perfectly adequate piece of comic escapism, a lack of fresh ideas make it ultimately toothless. Worth the ticket price, perhaps, for what happens to Justin Bieber in the film's first 10 minutes, a sequence that will delight and appall audiences in equal measure. For more on Zoolander 2, stick with IGN.